ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೇ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಪವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚ ಲಂ ಪಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಠುದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಮೀತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ ಭವಾದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ಬಿಸ್ಫುರುಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೌತಶ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂ ಪುರುಷ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾವತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನೇತ್ರ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ಬರಾನಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷು ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀರ್ ತ್ವಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಕಿಂಗ್ ದುಸ್ವಾಮ್ನು 
किंग दुस्वामु साधुना विदुषाम किम अपेक्षित किम अकार्य कदर जानम दुस्त्याज्यम किम धितात्मना किम दुस्वामु साधुना किम दुस्वामु साधुना विदुषा किम अपेक्षित किम अकार्य कदर जानम दुस्त्याज्यम किम धितात्मन गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पहुपा परमंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड इफ वी आर अनेबल टू कीप द फ्लेम ऑफ संकीर्तन जज्ञाग्नि ए लाइफ इन ऑल आवर स्पिरिचुअल सेंटर आई मीन गौरीय मठ ऑल आवर मठ मंदिर देन यू कैन डिस्कवर fighting between each other one can discover fault with other one can start competition with other devotee in the temple which is the general case gauri goshti pati sisila bhakti siddhant saraswati goshami jagat pahupal paramahansa jagat guru told if we are unable to keep the flame of sankirtan jagya alive in all of our spiritual center i mean gauriya mat everywhere then naturally we can find mutual fighting competition with each other one can find fault with other this kind of problem can i jealousy can be there is quite natural Koli cannot allow you to go without. Koli cannot allow you to go freely because those who are general sadhu, those who are not actually perfect bhishna. In general term, we say everybody bhishna bhakti. Okay. It's general term, but in actual true sense, you know, in true sense. those who are actually pure vishnu maya cannot put any influence on them maya cannot put any problem those who are not 100% perfect vishnu still today maybe tomorrow they can become vishnu still they will have to feel the pressure of maya they will have to feel the pressure of you know kali there's a usually competition with each other if some vaishnav doing nicely somebody can criticize someone can try to make him fall down actually actually this is the dirty case of bhajan life is called the dirty case dirty all dirty stool and urine all about this it's a very painful situation That day I was speaking, Nirma Saranam Satam. This is the main thing. The Bhagavad Dharma, which is shown by Chief Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it is called Bhagavad Dharma. We are following Bhagavad Dharma under the guidance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, His Supreme Lord. It is His Dharma. So there is no place of jealousy. There is no place of jealousy, no competition. If there is jealousy, nirmas, matsar, then you are disqualified. First of all, many time our guru or go used to say, my guru Maharaj, Sridhar Gosi Maharaj, that if there is no patience in your life, if you cannot bear somebody insulting you, if you cannot bear. then you are not vishnu bhakti mr tagore writing we are very shortly we are going to publish already done checking within gaur purnima possible or not i don't know because everybody doing seva fancifully they are not going to think about the heart of guru vishnu that is the main problem everybody doing some seva but they cannot understand the heart of guru vishnu follow they cannot realize what is the heart of guru vishnu 
to realize the heart of Guru Vaishnava and to do accordingly, it is called actually Seva. But they think, I have done this. So, Maharaj, Guru Maharaj is very happy. Maybe. Maybe not. Yes, see you. My Guru Maharaj is very happy. I bring, uh, you know, uh, two crores, two crores of rupees from foreign country. The Guru Maharaj is very happy. Follow. They think, uh, we bring money. We are doing this seva. They, so, Maharaj is very happy. They are not going to take information about the heart of Guru Vishnu. And they never try to harmonize their heart with them. That's why it is called auto-suggestive matter. It's called auto-suggestive. I'm doing, ah, Guru Mahal, very happy. Surely he's happy. It's called auto-suggestive matter. This is not actually bhakti. Bhakti is not such a chief thing. As everybody is saying na, in the market, in the preaching field, bhakti is very easy, cheap. But whole Shastra, everywhere you can find, Bhakti is so costly, so precious, that you cannot imagine. You cannot even imagine Bhakti, one drop of Bhakti can solve all problems in your life. It's a great property. All Jivatma, they should get this property. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to arrange this for all Jivatma. But our luck is very bad. And under the guidance of our Gauranga Mahaprabhu, all our Guru Varga, Bhakti Thakur, Pohupath, Siddhar Goswami, Kesu Goswami, they are all trying their best. How best possible way they can, eh, they can, they can bring you in bhajan line, actual bhajan line, best possible way. But to change the mood, dirty mood, previous sanskar, infinity life, infinity life, we are running, 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 infinity life. It is not so easy to change the sanskar overnight. Even, even if I, even if my Guru Maharaj beat me, even my Guru Maharaj beat me, cut me, still not possible. Not so easy. That's why that day I was speaking, Kalyana, Kalyana speaking to Bhagwan, Bhagwan, I am within your creation. No, I know I am, I am poisonous snack, Kalyana, I am very dangerous. But still, I am, under, I am within your creation, no? I am within your creation to what to do? Shabhava dusta janadi jat asadgraha. Shabhava, which I grow, this Shabhava, life after life I am doing, and bad sanskar I grow, how I, how I change? How I change? This is the main problem. It's a very, very dangerous thing to change. But without changing, no other way. No alternative way. Today or tomorrow, you will have to realize from heart, when I go here and there, I watch all human, you know, train, watch everything, like dream I am, like dream I am thinking. Just now I am coming from Kolkata, whole two day, fighting, and now coming back. Take bath and come to you. Just like dream, I am watching what they are doing. Direct relation, not that one philosophy. Direct relation, thinking, what they are doing. Who can change them? So, actually, point is that without patience, without patience, nobody can do bhajan. Patience is the topmost thing. Nautama Thakur also writing in Kirtan, Prem lave dhoijya dhan. Dhoijya mani patience is a great property in the way of my bhajan. But this patience, you cannot buy from market. You can, you can practice. You can practice. From today you can practice. How, how you can 
how you can develop patience. Let I, I like to see. Without the keep of Guru Vaishnav, no father. Without, without the keep of Guru Vaishnav, no father can develop patience. So rare thing. Patience without patience you cannot do. One or two example I can give to you. More practical. Like the case of Tirandi Vikshu. Tirandi Vikshu. In Bhagavatam you can find. Everybody insulting him. Taking Kamundal, taking, you know, Tidanda, throwing hair and playing with him, spitting on him, making, you know, one stone, making, you know, throwing on him. At the bank of river, whole day over, now, almost noontime, he is going to cook something offered to Bhagavan Teki. They are making urine in his pot. But still he is not going to speak anything. Like the case of Gorkhishwar Babaji Maharaj. All naughty boys, they are making so much problem with him. But he is not angry. He is never angry with anybody. Jarabharadji Maharaj and Ruhugan, someday I can discuss, very deep philosophy. Ruhugan, Ruhugan thinking I am the king, the great king. So very, uh, uh, you know, what, you know, is a king. And he thinking that Jarabharadji Maharaj is a mad, a crazy. He is going to engage in him taking planquin, one man is shortage, speaking all rubbish, taking the whip and going to beat him. But he is not speaking anything. This way, it is almost rare. Big, big Acharya, Bhaktivinoda Thakur writing. Big, big Acharya, Bhaktivinoda Thakur writing. That most of the Acharyas, they always want prestige honor for themselves. If there is some shortage of prestige honor, they, they are ready to do anything. They are ready to do anything. If there is some shortage of honor and prestige for them. This is their achajasi. Bhakti Muntag writing, I am not speaking. Bhakti Muntag writing, at present, the sadhu samaj, especially those acharyas, they have no patience. Always they want love, puja, patishtha, everything. If shortage, they become like Indra Maharaj, you cannot. Shortage of patishtha, like to kill Vajavasi. Ah, useless. This is the condition. Even they can kill. If they, if they find some throne, if they, if they find some throne in the way of their patishtha, they even can kill. This is the condition. So envious they are. Like Lepardo. Lepardo, you know? Lepardo. So ferocious inside. Outside, smiling face. <laughs> very nice. Outside, very smiling face. Inside, ferocious. This is the condition. Today, we are really surprised to see all the bhajan life of Sridhar Goswami, Ayyava, Maparambaya, Madhu Goswami Maharaj. We cannot compare anybody with him regarding patience. When everybody failure, then Parambhya Madhu Goswami is speaking, now we are just starting now. Not yet done. So much thing. When everything failure, but he is saying, yeah, just it is a starting point. Just now I was speaking, now, a few minutes before. That we are less interested to understand the heart of Guru Vaishnava. We are doing seva, but we are less interested about the heart of Guru Vaishnava. That's why we cannot make any progress in our bhajan, sizable progress. We are doing seva, but not going to take information. What? You know, 
But for Ambuja Madhu Gusi Maharaj, he was so successful in Guru Seva, eternal Seva. The successful, this word I cannot use. Eternal Seva. What Prabhupada wants to do, Arambaya Madhu Gusi, Mahas, Siddhar Gusi, they can know immediately, they can understand. What Prabhupada wants to do, they can realize without speaking. Without speaking. Our Guru Bhargava used to speak uh, some story, <laughs> very nice. But uh, one kind of sevak is there. If you ask him, can you do this seva? This seva, oh, it's very typical, it's actually impossible to do. You can pass away. Another sevak you can speak, you can do this seva. He is going to do this seva and giving responsibility to somebody else. Guru Maharaj is giving responsibility to him. He is going to give responsibility to some other. You can do this seva, Guru Maharaj speaking. Yes. Follow. There is a condition. Some seva is there. If Guru will speak, Guru is speaking, then they can do. Without speaking, they cannot do. Follow. But seva, he is seva. He is seva, actually he is seva. Who? Without, without asking, Guru Maharaj not asking anything, can realize the heart and could do accordingly. Can do accordingly. And Guru Maharaj become very happy. Without any information. Like the case of Kures. Who told Kures? Who told Kures to memorize all uh, Vedanta Bhasya or Bodhan Bhasya? Who told? Nobody. Ramanujaja never told him. Told? Ramanujaja told him, but he is, he memorized. Ramanujaja never told, on behalf of me, you can take my dress and go to a Krimi Kanta. Never told. It's called actual seva. Genuine seva, he need not ask anything. He can realize everything and can do accordingly. Totally harmonized with Guru Bhattva. It's called actual seva. If you go through the life history of Srila Parmadi Madhu Maharaj, then you can realize how much seva, how exclusively he has done all seva, all the time. He was the number one collector. Collector Mane, that time there was no, there was shortage of money. Now at present everybody can have money. They have money, no? But that on those days there was shortage of money. But still there was enjo enjoyment. Still there was enjoyment. In the temple, there is no arrangement of nice, nice big prasadam. Prasadam, nice, this word I should not use. But to make you understand me, you see. At present they are searching. But that time, you know, dal is there. Dal, you know dal? You know dal? If you give you a spoon, you cannot find dal, only water. Only water going on. Still our Guru Varga never complain against Prabhupada. They never say, Prabhupada, where is there? There is no prasad of nice. Never. Follow. Sometimes there is no sufficient rice. All rice distributors, some rice level, and seven or eight devotees, they are taking some madhukuri and taking. Prabhupada said, why you are not? Prabhupada, actually we are practicing Bhairag, how to develop. That's why we are, uh, sufficient rice is there. This way. this way, there was no complaint. You know when complaint can come? You know when complaint can come, when there is dissatisfaction inside your heart. Complaint can come in your life, complaint can come in your life when you are dissatisfied. When your heart is not uh, feeling any peace, you have some demand, then and only then dissatisfaction can come. Otherwise there is no question of dissatisfaction. If there is bhakti, no dissatisfaction. 
If bhakti is there, no question of any dissatisfaction. No question. Because definition of bhakti, I already told many times. And last line, Sandrananda Visheshvatma Sri Krishna Karsani Chasa. Sandrananda, a dense, a dense ananda. We oh, are so dense ananda inside, overflowing ananda. Where from this ananda coming, I don't know. No nice, nice food stuff, no fruits. In my life also, six months, eight months, six months, eight months, within that we cannot find some fruits. Akadasi, okay, some boiled potato and maybe cucumber. This is what life. Still there was satisfaction inside heart. No satisfaction. Never I go, give money, give money, never. You cannot, one instant you can find. One single instant. You can find Maharaj went there to ask money. Satisfaction was there. By the grace of Guru Maharaj, satisfied. Day and night from 8 o'clock up to 6 o'clock, continuously. If there is one fly there, I cannot see writing. But still was there. And Madhukuri Bhiksha, something make something, take bus. Up to 8 o'clock, everything, orchard, everything from night, some mala, some bhajan. After that, bus start writing, whole day. Sometimes three books, three books, four books at a time. I mean, Vyasasana. I am not speaking lie. Morning time I am writing some protest note, two protest note. Noon time I am writing Vishnu Priya Devi. After that, three, from three o'clock writing some other, three books, four books at a time. It was possible. By the grace of Bhagavan, who am I to do? Full concentration. No fan. It is like go down, no room, no ventilation. Only with open, one plastic is there, plastic other sweat coming. With, with only coping, nobody there uh, writing. But still was ananda. Still there was so ananda, I cannot imagine. So dissatisfaction can make you dissatisfaction, you know, is the main thing. Main problem. Dissatisfaction. Parambuya Madhukushi Maharaj, I am speaking. One cloth, he was tall figure. He was so tall figure, if one man only want to see Paramaya Madhukushi Maharaj, not speaking anything, not speaking anything, only going to look Paramaya Madhukushi Maharaj. He is looking at him, get reaction. Ajahnulambita Bhujo. So tall figure, so nice figure. Only by looking, only by looking at Madhu Goswami, somebody can get bhakti. Big, big exalted police commissioner, deputy magistrate, district magistrate, you know, vice chancellor, big, big governor of Bengal used to come. They feeling very nice. They used to feel very nice with Paramya Madhu Goswami. Not that we are coming to bestow Madhu Goswami, not that. At present we are doing Guru Seva. At present we are doing Guru Seva. Our mood is that. We are going to, we are going to, you know, our Gurudev is very lucky. Our Gurudev is very lucky that we are serving Gurudev. Yes, at present I can touch. And speaking the true fact, my Gurudev is very lucky that uh, like a man, I am so and a powerful man. I am serving my Guru. My Guru was very lucky. This is our mood. But on those days, they used to think that Guru Padma was taking seva from me, a fallen soul. So lucky I am. Like the case of Krishna Das Kubirak Goswami. Who can give seva? I'm only Nithyananda going to save me. Other everybody like to keep me away. Give the mood of Krishna Das Kaviya. It's called actual doino. Follow. It's called actual doino. But you cannot understand actual doino. 
Krishnadas Kavidas Goswami speaking. Only Nithyananda going to Vishnu. Nobody, everybody throw me, throw me out. This is my condition. This is the condition. So, Paramahaja Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Paramahaja Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Gamath Puri Goswami Maharaj, what to speak about them, they are exalted personality, I am a fallen soul. I myself, you know, wanted to learn from them. No prasadam, prasadam finish, but still no angry attitude, okay. Vaishnava has taken prasadam. Someday, in Chaitanya Math, some devotee shouting like dog. Shouting like dog, where is my prasadam, prasadam, where is prasadam? is shouting, because somehow there is some limited arrangement, na? because on those days there is a limited arrangement. Gradually, Chaitanya Mahat, uh, you know, Chaitanya Mahat acquiring so much land, I mean somebody giving donation, but previously no, nothing, no sufficient rice even. Follow. Some devotee is shouting, where is my prasadam? The Pope was hearing from library. Who the, who, who's shouting this way like dog? Pope was coming out from library. Hey, why you are shouting? What, what happens? Where is my prasadam? No prasadam for me, I am very hungry. Pope was thinking, you cannot, you cannot see prasadam. You cannot see so much prasadam all around. You cannot see. Come on with it. Come on, you can take and I can take. Popa is going to a dustbin where everybody is throwing pot of Vaishnavas. Okay, you can take, I can take. Now, come. Popa wanted to say, what do you mean by prasadam? What do you mean by prasadam? This we learned from our Guru Varga Parma. So much, so much, you know, astrology and penance, automatically. One cloth, tall figure. For one, one year, one cloth using, one cloth, one dhoti. One dhoti. Follow. At present, so much cloth. I like to give away. You, like to, you, like, you need cloth, I like to give you. Don't give me cloth. But at, pre at present, so. Somebody can make some go down of cloth. They are selling cloth. But Parma Madhugu Simaj, eight months, one, one year over, one dhoti, tall figure. If tall figure is there, dhoti, heavy figure, no? Dhoti automatically, uh, here some leakage. The Madhu Goswami is changing the dhoti, a front portion, giving back, and so that the you know, their leakage you can make in, a, in a, here. This way, when it is impossible to hide, when it is almost impossible to hide the leakage, because he need to go to market na collection this way. Then with humble mood coming, with humble mood coming in front of, in front of Goryamat in charge, manager. Our Bhakti Vilas Tittu Goswami Maharaj. But that time his name was not Bhakti Vilas Tittu Goswami Kunjoda. That time his name was Kunjoda. Kunjoda Vihar Vidya He is coming in the office. Coming in the office. Kunjabhavu. Kunjabhavu, Kunjada, Prabhu. If you have any cloth extra, if you have any dhoti extra, you can give me. If you have any extra. Not that, my dhoti over, give me. Not that. At present, all Acharyas, most of the Acharya, all Acharyas, most of them, speaking. I am not speaking so that you can attack me. Popa speaking, at present, those Acharyas, they are serving disciple. They Gurudev giving service to disciple. This is a fact. I mean Vyasasan. This is a fact. Naked truth. Guru Bhadmadma, Guru Vaishnav, those who are holding the Acharyas, they are serving their disciple. They are giving mantra to those, you know, pros. Popa speaking. They are serving disciple. They are giving mantra to pros. They are selling mantra to rich man. 
Oh, so much. You can tell. Rich man, so you like to give diksha. Somehow I must give diksha to him. Very rich man. So people can say, Hello. This is the condition. What to do? Guru Pat Padma, Abhinnu Guru Pat Padma, Adhu Goswami Maharaj, Siddhar Goswami they never approve Kesav Goswami Maharaj. At present they allow. One rascal coming from some place to some Acharya, present Acharya, he can speak Bhagavad Katha. Bhagavad Katha means he can make some drama. Follow. He can make some drama. So he is making a drama of Bhagavatam with ladies, ladies doing kirtan, harmonium. I'm not speaking anything. I'm watching everything. Follow. And that Acharya giving diksha to him, he is going to think, you see, the quality of my disciple is speaking Ach speaking Bhagavad Katha. Well, what to speak about me? Follow. Someday I went into the room of that, you know, Bhagavad Pathak who is reading. I closed the room and speak to him. Who give you order to recite Bhagavatam in front of public? To cheat public? Who? Well, my Guru Padma. Okay. Then I leave him and enter into the room of the Acharyas. Enter into the room of the Acharyas and lock the room and speaking fire like. I speak heavy really. This is your character. Why you are along this man? Eh? He is like pros going here and there, reciting Bhagavatam, collecting mind. And now that you know disciple, when Gurudev speaking something, he kick Gurudev and gone separate. Now leave Gurudev. Because interest is not there. So long his self-interest was protected, then up to that mutual interest was born. When disciple he is speaking something to disciple. Disciple will kick, kick back Gurudev, take so much money, lot of money, cheat, and go away. This is our condition. If somebody is taking diksha of me, I think I am very lucky. I am very lucky he is taking diksha from me. This is a condition. But our Guru Bhargava, Parambhya Madhu Goswami Maharaj, if you understand, if you realize their life, if you understand, if you realize they are in a bhajan life, then you can, uh, you can get something concrete, whole life doing. During the period of Madhu Goswami Mana Pahupad, he used to preach here and there, you know. Pahupad used to send him. Not only preaching, everywhere, which is impossible, which is an extreme possible. Then Prabhupada speaking, Hayagri Prabhu, can you do this seva? Yes, I can do. I'm going away. Madras mod, Kobur mod. If you go, if you if you if you can take right information, then you can understand our Guru Bhargava. Who is our Guru Bhargava? How much blood they have given for Prabhupada? All everything, all blood. They are gone. They give him. They are giving for Prabhupada. Follow. These are Madhu Goswami Maharaj, all men seva. Almost all temple. Almost all temple, all temple all over the India. Almost all temple, Goryamat. Wherever you find. Almost all temple. You can find the seva of Bhakti Dham, Madhu Goswami Maharaj. He was the main seva. Almost all. All preaching fail. Even by the desire of Gauranga Ma, uh, by the desire of Prabhupada, for me, Madhu Goswami Maharaj wanted to establish the foot, you know, footprint. You don't know? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to South India, North India, different places, na? Mahaprabhu went, na? Different places. In South India, it took two years for Mahaprabhu. Two years. Whole oh, sound they are traveling. After that, Mahaprabhu went to North India. So Prabhupada took resolution to establish the footprint of Gauranga Padachinna. 
footprint of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, almost all different pilgrimage where Mahaprabhu went, so that everybody can remember that Gauranga Mahaprabhu Supreme Lord came here and get some benefit by paying Dandavada. Everywhere. So you can see Parmaya Madhu Goswami Maharaj whole day and night. No rest. Now we are thinking about resting. We are taking prasada. Oh, now two hours and now everybody can sleep. After taking prasada, we must take rest now. Our health should be very nice now. Very nice figure now. Everybody can respect now. Healthy figure at all. So, there was no rest in the life. In the life of pure Guru Vaishnava, we cannot find any rest. They have no time to rest. So, ultimately, Prabhupada was bound to give one title to him. His name was Volcanic you know, Energy. It's a volcanic energy. Volcanic energy. Never, Prabhupada never discover that why grip is tired. After so long, you know, time he gone to some out place doing seva, coming back just now. Just now, 10, 11 o'clock, taking bath, Prabhupada saying, you can take prasadam, immediately you start, your train is due, uh, maybe, uh, three o'clock noon time. You're starting. Follow. Start. Not speaking. Just now I am coming, and you are. You have no mercy. Not speaking. So we cannot make any competition. It was the Siddhanta Bichar of Sila Madhugu Sri Maharaj. I don't know how much love you have for him, but I am feeling some reaction inside me by remembering his all his life history. He used to say, he used to say, we are, my son, we are actually fire bigger man. Actually, we are fire bigger man. Fire bigger man cannot say, just, just now I am coming from a tree, I was there to extinguish fire. Now I come back, you said, maybe night time, 12 o'clock, I'm sleeping. Hey, get up, get up, get up, fire there. Oh, I can go to morning. Huh? Morning time. Go, no. Morning time. But a fire there, you can go morning time. I learned it from Parama Madhu Goswami Maharaj. I learned it from Madhu Goswami Maharaj. Ah, what, I can, what I can do right now, I cannot keep it. I cannot keep it for tomorrow. Right now. I will have to do right now. So I learned it from Parmal Madhugusi Maharaj. Actually, we are fire bigot man. Fire is there. Everywhere fire. We should run to extinguish fire there. We cannot say morning I can take rest. Oh morning jama. No. We are fire. Gorimat. Gorimat messenger mean? Gorimat messenger mean? Gorimat Sevak, Gorimat messenger men, we are fire brigand man. We must go now. So, Popat was stunned to see the energy level of Ramya Madhukasi. Someday, you know, everybody asking, who is the best to Sevak among us? <laughs> All important, all in all important guru work, all there. Maybe some of them absent, but most of them there. One day, then they ask Prabhupada, who is the topmost sevak among us? <laughs> Prabhupada thinking, if I speak some particular thing, is big problem. So Prabhupada giving answer in such a scientific way. Prabhupada giving answer in such such a scientific way that you cannot imagine. Prabhupada speaking that. Guru Seva, Vaishnav Seva, and Vaishnav Seva, and love for Guru Vaishnav Seva. It is proportionate. The more you can develop love for Guru Vaishnav, the more you can get Seva. So, Prabhupada giving answer. Who is, who is developing tremendous love for Guru Vaishnav? 
He is the topmost. Now you search out who among you. But I am going to speak. Who among you? Love me. Topmost. He is the topmost seva. So why should I point out? Among you, you can search out and see. Follow. So, someday Prabhupada is asking, which seva you like? He is saying, this seva I like very much. And so, other seva, what seva you like very much? I, I, this seva I like very much. All seva, Prabhupada asking, which seva you like? Ultimately, asking to Hayagri Prabhu, which seva you like very much? Hayagri <laughs> Prabhu speaking, Prabhupada, actually whatever seva you give me, whatever seva you give me, any time, any moment, I like that seva. Not that this seva I like very much, this seva is less important, not that. Prabhupada was very, very, Prabhupada was very much satisfied. Whatever seva, when, any moment, give any seva that I like very much. Any seva you give, like to give me, I like it. There are no particular, I like it very much. Follow. So Prabhupada took decision to send Hayagya Brahmachari to foreign country, because by looking at Hayagya Brahmachari, all foreign devotee, <laughs> foreign people can go mad. Oh, so nice. So some very old senior devotee requesting Prabhupada, Prabhupada, if you send Hayagya Brahmachari, there's big problem. Because it's a foreign country, you see, so nice looking, handsome body. So there can be some problem. <laughs> Hayagya Brahmachari, what problem can happen? Is the eternal person of Prabhupada. But still, Prabhupada taking it very seriously. It's a so nice looking. Oh, there is a foreign country. So, I'm thinking about it. Prabhupada. Then Prabhupada changed decision. Well, I cannot change why I grip to foreign country. Actually, if Prabhupada is going to send him to foreign country, he is bound to go. He cannot say he cannot go. Like the case of Parambha Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. Popa took decision to send uh, and, uh, I mean, Siddhar Goswami to foreign country. Popa and Siddhar Maharaj thinking, what to do? I cannot stay with Popa directly, cannot do seva. Uh, but if Popa want to send me, I will have to go. Finally, by the grace of Nityananda, for my Madhu Goswami, change decision. I, I mean, Prabhupada, change decision. Not sending. Then later on, when Prabhupada gone, then Prabhupada Siddhar Goswami Maharaj was bound to pass this remark. He was bound to pass this remark. That my Guru Maharaj, that my, that my Guru Maharaj wanted to preach, wanted to preach in foreign country, by the help of this instrument, this, looking at it, by the help of this instrument. By the help of this instrument, my Guru Padma Saraswati Bhakti Siddha, he wanted to preach foreign country. But that, that, that coming true, that coming true today, when Prabhupada is gone, I am not going to foreign country, but all foreign people coming to me. Hidhar Goswami later on passing this remark. Only because Prabhupada wanted to preach by the help of this instrument. So, today, oh, foreign country coming to me. Is His Excellency. Guru Mahal. Prabhupada wanted to preach. So, if Guru, if Gurudev, if Param Gurudev, Prabhupada, they want, they can do it. That's why we speak Pangung Langhet Gurim. We speak in, no? We don't speak Pangung Langhet Gurim. Jatki Patamahang Bandi Paramanandamad. One layman can cross over Himalayan hill. Follow. It is possible. If Guru Padma is going to bless me, Prabhupada from up is going to bless me, then I am bound to speak all about what they told. That is called Harikatha. It's not the question of mem memorizing. Harikatha can freeze. Can, like a fountain, 
Harikata can come out. So, our Paramahansa Madhav Goswami Maharaj also, such a massive preaching impossible. After Prabhupada, massive preaching done by Paramahansa Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Paramahansa Kesu Goswami Maharaj, and our Guru Varga like Goswami Maharaj and Bhun Maharaj, they done, they nice preaching done for. But after Prabhupada gone, you cannot find, you cannot find any interest in them to make big temple. They are not big. Parampivyad, Parampivyad, Bhakti Hida Banadeva Goswami is the topmost preacher. By hearing Harikatha from him, our Sadananda Babu the Great. Yeah, actually they are eternal person. I am not speaking. And Prabhupada told him, you can give him Harinam. So power, Prabhupada, translating. But still, you can search, you can search. You can search in internet, how much temple? All bhajan kutir. Bindavan, small bhajan kutir. Calcutta, I speak very, I mean, previously, at present no time. Previously, they used to call me in Bindavan bhajan kutir, Calcutta bhajan kutir, all so many. Small bhajan kutir. Goswami Maharaj, what I can do? Prabhupada gone. All small bhajan kutir. But by the desire of Madhu Goswami Maharaj, he was bound to make some temple. He wanted to make some bhajan kuti. No, you must make big temple. Cannot allow. So this way, you see, Parambhaja Madhu Gusi Maharaj is the great, you know, seva. We cannot compare him. Any time, any, any time, any desire inside the heart of Prabhupada. Any time, any desire, any seva. Or immediately, seva done. All different kind of symposium, exhibition, parikram, whatever seva. Even no place to sleep, no prasadam, no place where I can sleep. But still they are happy. If Guru Pat Padma is happy, then I am happy. If Guru Pat Padma is happy, then I am happy. If Guru Pat Padma is not happy, maybe I can collect billions of dollars. I can never become happy. I can never become happy. So, you can search all important place where one inch by one inch, one inch by one inch jami land, one inch by one inch, by one foot by one foot land. You cannot arrange. Chandigarh, 20, 20 sector, where VVIP, they cannot arrange. They make temple there. You can go to Gohati, Palton Bajar, main place. Oh my God. They have made temple. Vrindavan, main high road. Where not? Every, you go anywhere. You go anywhere. You, you search. You, you can search internet. How possible? Only by watching Mother Gusi Maharaj. One big, you know, is a, a you know, co a, a chairman of co corporation, chairman of corporation. Madhu Goswami was speaking, you can give some land here, we can make. He is speaking, here not possible. Here not possible. How it is possible for you to give this piece of land to Muslim people? You cannot give to us for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This way, all important place. Where you can go? Hyderabad you can go? All main place. Everywhere is making temple. He wanted to preach. He wanted to preach Gaurubani under the guidance of Prabhupada. But we, you know, actually our luck is very bad. We wanted to take undue advantage of this great personality. This is our fault. We always want to take undue advantage of Prabhupada. We always take advantage of our Guru Varga, always. I'm thinking, if they go to political field, if they go to political field, hundred percent, they can make success. So talent. They are keeping some letter. They are keeping some letter written by some Guru Varga. 
deposit. After they gone, the public, ah, he used to love me so much. So, all taking all field. Actually, they are businessmen. Pure devotee never try to give any undue advantage of our Guru Bhargava. Rupshanathan never speaking, my Gurudev is this, my Gurudev. Never, you heard? Never speak. Jiva Goswami speaking. Jai Guru, Jai Guru speaking. Because they actually love Gurudev. They know Guru Thath. This is our condition. Always try to lack undue advantage. But Parambija Madhu Goswami Maharaj never wanted to. But his figure, his behavior, his figure, his attitude, everything, Siddhanta Bichar, purity, by watching everything, people asking, he is the son of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati? People used to say, he is the son of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati? Almost looking like same, <laughs> but not same. By watching his purity, watching his figure, acharan, so much tolerance. So much tolerance, I mean, even one tree in, in Shastra, we find Bhakti Tagore also writing in Bhajan Rasa, na? Eh? and Bhajan Rasa also writing. Briksho, like, like tree, humbler than the blade of grass, is very easy to speak. But in applied form, we have seen in the life of Aramaya Madhu Kusima. One tree can fail you. So much attract, so much opposition. Still brain is cool. So it was possible for him to preach in Punjab, Haryana, Mayavadi. Mayavadi failed. So much fighting with Mayavadi. In the open assembly. A fighting with Madhu Goswami Maharaj. Madhu Goswami We humble him. Folded hand. Giving answer. And they are defeated. They are putting one by one question, Madhu Goswami is giving, but not angry attitude. This much tolerance should be there. Only then you can get the power to speak about the absolute truth. In Madras, in Madras, our Ramananda Prabhu, I mean, Siddhar Goswami, Madhu Goswami Maharaj, all big, big Guru Varga there. So, by the help of Madhu Goswami Maharaj, Siddhar, it was possible for us uh, for, uh, for, uh, to see one temple in Madras. But now you go and see what they are doing. You go personally and see. One night you can stay. Don't believe me. You go everywhere. One night you stay. If you understand one drop of pure bhakti, if you understand one drop of pure bhakti, I am sure you can become crazy by watching them, what they are doing. This is not bhakti, we learn. What is bhakti? What is the difference between Mayavad and uh, pure devotion? We, by now we know something. How we can believe? In Madras, you know, Sankar Sampada is so powerful. Even our previous Rashtrapati, our previous Rashtrapati, you know, you know, our previous Rashtrapati, Radha Krishnan, Sarvapali Radha Krishnan. He was Mayavadi. Hello. President of India. Rashtrapati, President of India. He was Radha Krishnan. Sarvapali Radha Krishnan. Who gave this name? I don't know. Who gave this name to this foolish man? Who gave this name? Radha Krishnan. He never believed Radha Krishnan. Only Mayavadi. Only Mayavadi. And that Radha Krishnan is present, all big, big, you know, Mayavadi present, they are our Sridhar Goswami, Madhu Goswami. Now you understand. In front of one Mayavadi, if I take you to Haridwar, Varanasi, you can run away. You can, you can, you know, all sweat can come. They memorize Soba, Soba Pandit. Hello, they can fight with you. You can fly like jackal. <laughs> Not so easy. So you see the power of Madhav Goswami Maharaj. You see the power of Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. We are proud of our Guru Bhargava. But proud, evergreen. Infinity pure. Grateful to him. 
one day, one big rich man, he is a big rich man, oh, Mayavadi. He is going to invite all, all Sampradaya. Sampradaya in the sense, all everything. Sri Ramakrishna Mission, we, are, we think he is not Sampradaya. But they think all, everybody can come. They invite. Big festival going on. Harikatha is over, and Madhu Gosima is watching. They are going to take all rubbish, peace and everything. Because they are Mayavadi, they can take it. Mayavadi actually not taking, Ramakrishna is not taking. Peace, meat, everything. In my childhood, I have seen. I took birth there, and at Jason place. Hello. I know from very childhood. Big, big fish. Even you cannot take one fish. They used to cut and. So I am practically, I have seen, no? So, Madhu Goswami Maharaj actually taking permission from that, you know, owner of that, as who is the making, host, going to make the arrangement. So, you give me permission, we like to go. Why? You take prasadam here. All sadhu coming here, they taking prasadam, you can also take. Actually, we have no right to take prasadam, not here. Why? That's Sri Ramakrishna mission, all they are so, they are all living, coming and taking prasadam. But actually they can take, they are very powerful. Madhu Goswami giving answer, not fighting. Actually, you see, we are so weak, you know. We are so weak, actually we have no power. They are very powerful. That's why they can take. We are very weak. We cannot, excuse me. With this humble attitude, Madhu Goswami is coming here. Because they have a so dirty arrangement. All uchista, everything. Parambaya Madhu Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Bhavad Puri Goswami Maharaj. I learned from them. Even purity and road, when train, bus going, how to maintain purity? If I am not going to, if I am going to make compromise, I mean Vyasasana, if I am going to make any compromise with purity, then I can go mad. I come back, na? Immediately I open bag, everything, all, whatever. I wash, after the take bath, then enter room. I cannot make any, it is habituated. I cannot make any compromise. Nothing. Not possible for me. I learned from them. So, Parmaya Madhu Goswami Maharaj, his purity, his you know, honesty, his love is remarkable. In, you know, after Prabhupada, only our Prambhya Madhu Goswami Maharaj, he used to arrange one big function in, where, you know, Kumbha Mala, you heard the name of Kumbha Mala. Are you don't, never heard Kumbha Mala. Are Kumbha Mala. Kumbha, Kumbha. Sometime in Vrindavan, sometime Haridwar, sometime here, different places, according to start position. Kumbha Mala. In Kumbha Mala, all sadhus, lakhs of sadhus coming. Madhu Goswami purposely used to make big arrangements so that somebody can at least realize what, who is Gauranga Mahaprabhu. All Sampradaya. Yes, yes. Then finally, on behalf of, on behalf of this committee, those overall committee of that, of this Kumbha Mala, no? overall Overall controller, they are going to convene one big function, big function, two days, two, three days. So, continuously they are going to send letter to different sampradaya, like our Goryamat also. Our Goryamat, they are going to invite them. You can come and speak all your, all your bichar, Siddhanta bichar. Parambaya Madhu was invited there. That time, I think, I think, so long, uh, so far I can remember, that time he was Acharya of Chaitanya Mahat. You don't know. You don't know. He was the Acharya of Chaitanya Mahat. He was elected Acharya of Chaitanya Mahat. But after, out of envious attitude, politics, he was thrown out of Mahat. Uh, unnecessarily. Un without any reason. 
Madhav Goswami Maharaj never make any, never make any politics with anyone. Never. So big heart. For me, Madhav Goswami, his heart is so big, even the whole world he can embrace. But still people going to acquire uh, and selfies, this, this, that. I can give you Harikata when I can speak. Now Rasikananda Acharya, Rasikananda Prabhu, our Jagannatha Baba, when I can speak. You have no power to hear. How I can speak? So, there, the topmost Pandit of India, Pandit in the sense, not according to the Siddhanta Vijaya of Krishna, according to the Siddhanta Vijaya of General Samaj. Hello. One big Acharya was there. Karpatri. His name was Karpatri. His name was Karpatri. Karpatri means he never, he never, never used to take any pot for eating. He never used to take any pot. Whatever in hand, give me. Okay. Water. He was never, never used to use any chapal. Whole India he liked to go travelling. No train, no bus, nothing. So hard. If he need to go to Madras, he can travel and go. He cannot take any chapel or take any car. Karpatri, Mayavadi. He was there in the Sabha. He was the chairman of that Sabha. And our Kunjoda was also there. So when Madhu Goswami was requested to speak, Madhu Goswami was speaking, God brother, you can, God brother, you can speak, you are senior to me. No, 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 no. Madhu Goswami was speaking to Kunjoda. He was senior to me. Peter, you can speak. No, no, no. You can speak. Okay. By taking the blessing, he is coming in the dais and started speaking about Siddhanta Vichara, Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Prem Dharma. Long bhaktita, long speech. Everybody hearing. After the sava was dissolved, when the sava was finished, then Karpati stand up and speaking in front of thousands of sadhu from different sampraday. Thousands of sadhu from different, different sampraday. Karpati stand up and announce, today, today, what we hear from Sila Bhakti Deva Madhukusi Maharaj, that is the final conclusion. That is the topmost thing. Unbeaten, unparalleled. So how you can say Madhu Goswami is useless? How you can say Gauri Amati is useless? How you can say? You should feel sigh before speaking that. They are going to take the flag of Gauri Amat. Each and every member of our Gauri Amat, those who are really follower of Prabhupada, I am not speaking like blindly. You know, like Tenjing Norge, Edwin Pieri, they are going to take the flag and go to Everest and put the flag. I am the first man in the world to put flag. Actually, Adrian Pieri was the second man. And our, uh, what is I, Tenjing Norge. Tenjing Norge, he is Nepali. He was the first man. He was the first man to go in the history of in a creation. First you go in the Everest and put. So in the history of Hari Bhajan, in the history of Gauriya Bhajan, Gauriya Mat is the only who is going to put the flag in Everest. If you speak otherwise, you can get punishment from Jomraj. Not from Gurudev. Gurudev can ignore you. Oh, I already I told you, no? Already I told you for Harikatha Prabhupada. Prabhupada speaking, those who can discover themselves in the drain water, that day I was speaking. Those who can discover them, discover, and discover them in the drain water, only eating, drinking, drain water. Follow. Always doing sinful activities, violating Gurudev, committing opera. Only they can, only and only they can criticize Gauriyamat. At present, what they are doing, I, I think they are not in Gauriyamat. They are not in Gauriyamat. They are not in Gauriyamat. Even they have not seen Gauriyamat. They have not right, no right to speak, I am in Gauriyamat. So, I am speaking about Gauriyamat. Try to understand the Siddhanta. So, we are very proud. So, in whole open, you know, you know, field, there, Mayabad, big, big, the Madhu Goswami is going to 
establish Siddhanta. This way, where not? Everywhere. In Assam, you know. Assam, you know. At present, if you can go, at present, you can go. Still, you can face some problem. At that time, there was 100% problem all around. They don't allow Ghoriyamat to preach. But Madhu Goswami are going to forest and where well, forest? Assam in Assam in forest. Assam in forest. Now you can go and find everything. Assam in almost forest. They used to preach everywhere. Everywhere Madhu Goswami used to preach. So much trouble he took. One day, our Bhaktivala Titu Goswami Maharaj, uh, now actually our uh, Bhakti began Bharati Maharaj. Prabhupada, uh, actually Madhu Goswami used to give so many seva here. So he, uh, he is going to Assam, he used to go, but less. But Titu Maharaj used to go more. Uh, Titu Madhu Goswami Maharaj. There was so much seva na, given to him. So there actually, one day, Madhu Goswami was making two teams. Madhu Goswami was speaking, uh, I am preaching here, Harikatha. So one group, Madhu Goswami says, you go there, that city. So in, uh, uh, you know, minimum time and maximum output. So I, I can speak Harikatha. So why not you, this group can go and do Kirtan? They're going there. Madhu Goswami is going there and they are preaching here. They are preaching here. Madhu Goswami is there. But after, when Harikatha is almost over, then somebody running and coming and giving information to Madhu Goswami Maharaj, your preaching man, representative, all beaten so heavily that they now in hospital, blood shedding all. But why? They're speaking, the, the some Mayavadi, they are actually, that Sankar Sampada is not there. There is another Sankar. There is another Sankar they used to follow. You don't know. This Sankara Chajo not. There is Sankar, another Sankar, a very popular in, in Assam. Eh? They don't allow Bhagavatam anything. They don't understand Bigraha. A deity, if they find deity, can they break. They can break deity. So, Madhu Goswami was informed that all your devotees almost beaten to death. Almost, they are in an admitted hospital. When Madhu Goswami Maharaj, Shobha is over, Madhu Goswami Maharaj only keeping his hand on head. Ha Krishna. Only speaking one word. Only taking the hand. Ha Krishna. Only this word, only word. And shedding tears. Only shedding tears, not speaking complaint. Let us go to police station. We can be not speaking. Only ha Krishna, ha Krishna, yes. only one word, and shedding tears. Going to take, going to take darshan of those devotees there in the hospital, almost death. They beat them, they break head, everything. And that, that night, same night, same night, all mad elephant, all mad elephant coming from forest, and going to break the house of those, you know, criminal. Only their, their house. All, they destroy their house, their garden, their field, their children, their wife, elephant going and, you know, smash. Strange. Only the criminal, the, his house is here. Another man, good man there, his house is not breaking. You cannot believe. Elephant coming, he is supposed to break every building, no, no. He is breaking particularly this building. Building men, actually, they are the, on the they actually heart, you know, heart, not building, they used to break. All small, small children, elephant, smash and gone. Only with that same night, particularly those are criminal, their house, their property, their field, all ripe crops, crops in the field, all destroyed. Even they are storing, even they are storing, you know, uh, you know, Paddy, everything. Elephant taking and throw in the water, everything. It's all one. It's called Parme Madhu Goswami. He never expressed any jealousy. You come to me, I can show you one by one. 
how he was favorable for God brothers. He used to invite them. They are sick, very sick. Come to me, come to me, stay in the temple. What you need? What you need? What you need? What you need? How much amount do we need? But after that, they are speaking. Madhav Maharaj is useless, Madhav Maharaj is idiot, Madhav Maharaj is envious. Bhagavan can excuse them. I don't know. Madhav Goswami giving his life for his God brothers. That's why in Pranam Mantra, Satitya Sadharma, Priti, it is written. And he was the only man who was successful to, del to deliver the place of Pohupad Bhat place. Pohupad Bhat, all against him, not helping him, not giving even a single penny. Follow. But he was successful. But we, we, we express, you know, deep, you know, you know, sorrow. That Madhuga Parambiya, Madhuga Sima, he could not, he could not attend the final function where the temple was constructed and deity installed. Before that he lived. Before. Puri Purushottam Dham, the birthplace, final ceremony. When construction done, everything, he couldn't see. Before that he gone, lived that place. So I is called Paramita Madhuga Maharaj. Any amount of my speech is not sufficient. Any amount of my speech, glorification, is not sufficient, sufficient to touch the lotus feet of Paramita Madhuga Maharaj. I, I beg for pardon from him. If he can give some affection, affection to me, then I am very... So I think he is... Uh, because uh, when... I was there, busy with you know publication job. Most of the time, I used to say with and Calcutta Mott. Almost uh, because the printing there, typing there. So it is the arrangement of Param Mahadevi Maharaj. Now today is the Tiruvaptiti of Rasikananda Prabhu. Rasikananda Prabhu is the number. You know is the is the number one disciple of Samananda Prabhu. He is, was, he is the incarnation of Kiradaka Sai Vishnu. Rasikananda Prabhu is the incarnation of Aniruddha Avatar, Aniruddha Vishnu. You can go to Samsundar Mandir, you can find. He is from a big family. His father was Achyutananda Prabhu. His father was Achyutananda Prabhu. He was very much in line with Vaishnavism. He used to invite a big, big sadhu in his, you know. He was the king of that estate. He was the king. He was the only son. Almost in the old age, going to get this son, Rasikananda Prabhu. So, so from boyhood, he was very intelligent and very much interested about, you know, Vaishnava Siddhanta, which everything. He was very much interested to get Gurudev, almost, uh, you know, crazy, he is, you know, taking information, when I can get Gurudev. Then, in dream, already he got message. Your Gurudev coming to you from Dharanda, from Mednapur, Dharanda. Your Gurudev, Shamananda coming shortly. You need not go, your Gurudev come to you. <laughs> really, after some... After some days, Samananda Prabhu coming there, full of prema, shedding tears, doing something. Immediately you could understand he is Samananda Prabhu. Immediately my Gurudev already coming. And on those days, it was the system. The father and mother, they used to arrange marriage of boys and daughters in very small age. That time he was only 12 years, he was, marriage was. Even don't understand the meaning of marriage. On those days, they used to. So Rasikananda was giving marriage for first, he don't understand the meaning of marriage. Anyway, with wife, with wife, he took Diksha, Harinam Diksha, everything from Samananda Prabhu. His whole family changed. And any, how I can speak about Rasikananda Prabhu? Even Muslim people, some uh, 
Muhammad, uh, uh, Muhammad uh, uh, Beg, Naki, what a name I forget, Muslim, king, he took initiation. He became Vaishnava. All notorious people, Gunda, notorious Gunda, very dangerous. They all change their heart. All they change their heart. I can give a list to you. If you ask me, you can give me a list, I can give you, you can take information. All heartless. They can kill you anytime. Eh? Like Chinggis Khan. How many people he killed, he cannot count. His sword is there, Chinggis Khan. So dangerous. Every faction is going cut through your throat. He came in India, you know, how many thousands of people he died, he cannot calculate. So dangerous. So, Rasikananda Prabhu used to change even Muslim people. What to speak about Muslim people? Two, two ferocious animals from tiger. Ferocious tiger was changed. Two tiger become Vaishnav. One mad elephant, Gopal Das. Gopal Das name was given by him, Rasikananda Prabhu. Fana. Invocation was given by some uh, dangerous people. Invoking, kill. Kill, kill him. Then the mad elephant going to kill. Big elephant. Going to kill Rasikananda, running. Rasikananda Prabhu there. And the, and the elephant coming, mad elephant. And somebody giving... You know, inspiration. Kill, kill, kill him. Hello. Rasikananda Prabhu not writing and not running. Shining one place. When the elephant coming and going to catch him, Rasikananda Prabhu hey, how long you can, how long, how long you can show your crazy mood? Huh? How long? How long you can show your crazy mood? Like, huh? You cannot change your mood? Huh? Come on. Then the elephant going to sit. Rasikananda, yeah. everybody knows, you are laughing. Elephant going to sit and Rasikananda giving Harinam to him. Harinam to him. Up to the last moment of his life, I mean that elephant, he used to do Vaishnava Seva. Suppose there is 5,000 Vaishnavas taking prasadam. The elephant going to take trees, you know, because fuel you need. Eh? And he is going to collect all, all sack of a sugar, sack of, you know, paddy, everything. Well, who can check elephant? He's going somebody and taking everything. I put it here, come, I throw everything. Who can check elephant? <laughs> he used to go here and there, wheat, wheat, elephant, while uh, taking and coming. <laughs> now cook, no problem. <laughs> cook. What is your property? What is my property? Actually, everybody, every, all property is Krishna's property. You think about it. You think about it. What a land you think it is your land. You can go away. It is the land of Krishna. When two kings fighting with each other to kill, then Prithivi Devi, Earth Mother, laughing. <laughs> they are killing each other. This is my land. My land. I can kill you. They are killing you. <laughs> and when both of them are going to die, Prithivi Ma, Ma, earth mother laughing. <laughs> that land is land, that land is land, and they gone from <laughs> only my land, my land. My temple, my Acharya. He is fighting. This is now present situation. <laughs> Foolish world. <laughs> no information about what is actual bhajan. Bhajan means ananda. If you are getting enjoyment in bhajan, you can never feel tired. All is inspiration, like Madhu Goswami Maharaj, you know. So, number one preacher, Rasikana, I have no time to speak about him. Full preaching done. As the number one sevak of Samananda Prabhu. One day, one Muslim, one Muslim, you know, tant, uh, one Muslim, you know, sadhu, I cannot speak, um, Maulana, Muslim. Many Muslim uh, spiritual leader. He knows some Siddhi. Siddhi. Knows some Siddhi. He is sitting on the sitting on the backside one ferocious tiger. 
and coming to meet with Rasikananda Prabhu. Everybody is speaking, Rasikananda Prabhu is a... We cannot explain who is Rasikananda Prabhu. Then that Muslim, Maulana, he wanted to check his power. Well, his Siddhi is there. His Siddhi is there, na? The Maulana is going to sit on the back of tiger, Perusas, and coming in front of Rasikananda. And Rasikananda, that time, sitting in the wall, wall, you know, flat wall. He's sitting in the wall and taking one nim stick, nim stick. Nim stick. And he's, uh, he's watching one, you know, Maulana coming to see the power of Rasikananda. Rasikananda could realize from distance. He liked to see some power from me. But Rasikananda never wanted to show some power. But anyway, he liked to see. Otherwise, he is not going to bend his head. Some people there, some people, such people there, until and unless you are going to cut their head, up to that time they are not going to bend their head. Oh. When Maya is going to cut their head, eh. never, they, can, they cannot, they, they cannot, their head is off. So, Rasikananda Prabhu, what to do? Brushing, and the whole wall, whole wall started moving. Wall, wall started moving. The wall, when he is sitting, the wall started moving towards him. He will start. Are you, somehow I can get control over elephant, over, over tiger. But for that one, in animate substance, one, you know, wall cannot move, a wall moving. So, what we can say? What we can say about Rasikan? <laughs> so great, so great, you know. Any amount of philosophy is not sufficient. Anyway, a, today is a particular day. I like to say one sentence. I am bound to speak because I must speak something. Na? Rasikananda Prabhu, 46 years. I mean, from the time of his taking, taking diksha. From the time of his taking diksha, huh, up to 46 years, by the order of Guru Padmanabha, Samananda Prabhu, he was preaching massively. So powerful, he can translate bhakti inside elephant, infant tiger, inside jackal, that bird. After 46 years, I mean the time, maybe uh, he took diksha the year, era of 15 or 12, I don't know. After that, you can calculate 46. He's going to leave. Finally, he leave everything and running and running, coming to Kira, Kira, Kira Chora Gopinath. You know, Kira Chora Gopinath, Baleshwar. They are coming, speaking some Harikatha in front of the devotee. After that, keep silence and leave body. His bhajan kuti is also there. Samanandar bhajan kuti is there. Down. After some day, doing bhajan, after that, leave body. Today is a disappearance day. And today we are lucky to speak something about Srila Vaishnava Sarva Bhaumo Si Jagannath Dad You never put question in front of me why this kind of title given to Sarva You never put question. You put question? Why, why everybody is speaking that Vaishnava Sarva Bhaumo Si Jagannath Dad Why? You never put any question. Nobody getting this title. Sarvabhoma means he is having sovereignty. Not like king. A king can have sovereignty over India, this, that. Automatically his bhajan power, his love, his bhajan power getting sovereignty over all Vaishnava Samaj. That's why this title was given to him, Vaishnava Sarvabhoma. I mean, at that time, I mean, at that time, if there is so many sadhu, Vaishnav, among them, he is the topmost. Vaishnav Sarvam. He used to stay there in Surya Kundo, where I was there, by the mercy of Gurudev. Just uh, there, Surya Nan Mandir, Jagannath Das Just uh, seven or eight years back, when I go there, Brajavasi requesting me, what you are doing, Baba, you can come and stay in the Bhajan Kutir, we can give to you. I say, Brajavasi, if I stay here, uh, then I cannot do any preaching, na. I like to stay. I, 
not like I was, I stay, I used to stay there. I feeling very happily. But my happiness is not all. What Guru Vaishnava want to do, what Guru Vaishnava like to do by this instrument, that is main important. They say the deity of Jagannatha Bhajima there in our house, we can give to you, we can make the repairing of your bhajan kutir. You can stay there, we can give to you. I say, if I stay here, I can, yes, I used to take big chapati, na? Only chapati I used to go to Brahman family, Bhajavasi used to beg morning and evening, and used to do bhajan, recite Bhagavatam, this, that. But this is not good, na? So, Jagannath Das Bhavaji Maharaj used to stay there. One day, Jagannath Das Bhavaji Maharaj going to one Brajavasi house. That Brajavasi actually externally low caste, low caste. Bhangi, Bhangi. Those who are, you know, brushing, you know, there's a, you know, drain, everything they're cleaning, na? Has going to, he's going to beg from them. And all village man became very angry. Hey, Baba, you gone mad? Why are you are begging from their house? They are bhangi. They are, they are bhangi. Hey, they are low caste. Why are you are begging? Eh? Then Jagannath Das Bhavaji was speaking. This is Bindavan. Where from you can find bhangi, low caste? This is Bindavan. Sapacha grihete mangiya khaibo pibo saraswati jal. Bhaktivinoda was speaking. Sapacha. Those those who used to cook the you know, flesh of dog, used to cook previously. I like to beg from them. Bhaktivinoda writing. Sapacha grihete mangiya khaibo pivo saraswati jal. I to drink the water of saraswati and beg chapati from their house. This is the topmost condition, Paramahansa state. So Babaji Maharaj, I mean, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj speaking, Hey, where from you can find bhangi? It's Bindavan. They become very angry. So much people, they are speaking all rubbish to Baba. So, Baba Ji is asking that, uh, that you know, Brajavasi, who is a low caste, hey, give me chapati, give me chapati. No chapati, no chapati, go, go, go. Because if going to give chapati, every people can beat him, na? He is out of fear, so no chapati. No chapati, no chapati, no chapati. I, you go to Rome, you go to Rome, there, there is one plate, there is four chapati there, you bring for me. Babaji Maharaj can see from outside. Four chapati there inside your room. You go, bring for me. Finally, Babaji Maharaj to go, they are fighting, they are, they, are, they are speaking all rubbish, you know. I cannot stay here. I can go to Goranga Mahaprabhu. Because this is also Bindavan. Then, uh, speaking to Bihari, a uh, Bihari, take preparation. Preparation mean? Preparation mean? Preparation means not like you. We can make one big luggage. When my Guru Maharaj is gone, when my Guru you can ask Tithu Maharaj is not there. Parthi Maharaj is gone. So you cannot take information. Only Tithu Maharaj call me 4 o'clock morning time. I said, Maharaj morning time calling me? I enter in Bhajan Kutir, Ras Purnima, just next day, previous day, Guru Maharaj night time leave, morning time Maharaj called me. I was surprised. Maha speaking, your Guru Path Padma actually gone. Eh? Gone? Immediately I break down. So I hear it and run. Only I take one sack of you know, potato sack. Potato sack. I take one, one or two clothes and everything, no money, I run for station to reach my Guru Maharaj. Follow? Finally. I reach time, on time. When I reach here in Sib Mandir, I put the sack and go to Ganga to take bath and go to temple. Just Guru Maharaj arrived from, arrived from Puri here. Guru Maharaj living by Puri. Just arrived Guru Maharaj, I arrived. Follow. So you think it is, you think it is actually a story. I know you cannot believe. You cannot believe. So anyway, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj is going to give instruction, today I can go. Then Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, you know, with Bihari running for Gaurdham. Same forest, na? like Gauru Maharaj used to go, Jari Khandavu. 
But if you go, tiger can attack you. Ba Babaji Maharaj going, Bihari speaking, Baba, there's tiger, tiger, tiger. Actually, Bihari coming back. Our Babaji Maharaj from taking one basket, basket, 125 years now, almost uh, taking one basket. In basket, Bihari speaking, how I can carry? How I can carry up to Gaurdham? Huh? With wax. Is you are so heavy, no heavy. You take the basket on your head. You can say, you cannot feel that I am there in your head. Really so? Babaji why you are be worried about it? You take the basket and check up. So Bihari taking the basket and put like no, nothing there on my head. Nothing there, Bihari running. <laughs> nothing there, he cannot feel the Babaji Maharaj there. But when Bihari in the forest coming back, then Jagadam, hey, why you are coming back? There is tiger, tiger, Baba, tiger, tat, tiger. Gorangamapa Parsad, go. Gorangamapa Parsad, go. Ahead. Then Bihari going. No tiger, no elephant, no attack. Jagannath Das Baba is coming here. Eh? So many things I cannot speak. Finally, he used to stay that side of river. That side of river, one place there. He used to say, now they make temple and uh, our Bhakti Muttagur used to love him, he used to go there. Finally, our, 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 our Jagannath Dad Babaji Maharaj coming here at the spot of Abhirbhav city of Gauranga Mahaprabhu and jumping from the basket who cannot move, sit, 125 years. 125 years, started jumping like a sportsman. Even Oli Olympic man cannot, Olympic man, if you make competition, cannot. It is written, jumping so high, jumping. This is the place of, bad place of, of Gaur Hari. I know, this is the bad place indicated by Vaishnava Sarva Jagannath Dabdavaji Maharaj. Srila Bhimalapasa Saraswati Prabhupada was given instruction by Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. That's what do you call Basanta Panchami, Shukla Panchami. It is the Abhirbhap Tithi of Vishnu Devi. You can fix up. You can start Vaishnava calendar. Prabhupada was bound to make Vaishnava calendar by the instruction of Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. You don't know. Our final version of calendar, what you are getting, na? Every month, you know, they are publishing by the order of, by the order of Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. Our Prabhupada started making. Because Prabhupada was the topmost astrologer at that time. Even today, many hundred years, hundred twenty years back, Prabhupada wrote, hundred twenty years, twenty thirty years back, Prabhupada wrote a thesis, thesis, some note. Still today, those who are making research, they are going to consult the writing of Prabhupada. Still today, our in Bengal, topmost astrologer and in cal of calendar, I mean calendar, not version of calendar, was, you know, is P. N. Bakshi. You heard the name of P. N. Bakshi? You don't know because they are publishing in Bengali, you know? P. N. Bakshi. P. N. Bakshi was the student of Bimalapasa Saraswati. Where Prabhupada opened one, uh, one, one toll, a school, to, learn, to teach uh, astro, astro, astronomy, astrology, everything. That time. After that, Prabhupada stopped everything and started only spiritual, only Harikatha. Later on, but still very small age. So anyway, we are, you know, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, our Bhakti Muta used to sing, he is his Gurudev, he seems to sing is to accept. Though we know externally, somebody else is the Guru Dev of Bhakti Mahat Thakur, but Bhakti Mahat Thakur don't, our Prabhupada and Bhakti Mahat Thakur himself, our Prabhupada and Bhakti Mahat Thakur himself, don't agree that the Guru Dev of Bhakti Mahat Thakur is that man, Sahajiya. Actually, Bhakti Mahat Thakur is the eternal person. Follow. Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, eternal person of Bhagavan. 
So there is unnecessarily they are fighting. If I say that Popat is the disciple of Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj, at the same time Gaurkishar Babaji Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj thinking that Vimala Prasad is my Prabhu. Our Gaurkishar Babaji never used to say, Hey, Vimala Prasad come not there. Amar Prabhu, you come, Amar Prabhu, Guru. So, actually, what is the fact? What is the fact? Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj is the disciple of Popa, the Popa is the disciple of He is just a, they are eternal person. He is Guna Manjari. He is actually Noyan Mani Manjari. Only unnecessarily fighting. But still, externally, we can give honor. Anyway, so, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj is very strict. Some, some day, some disciple of Jagannath Das Babaji, he was very plain hearted. They are not going to obey Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj speaking, hey, you go give water to this, you know, Sabji garden. You know Sabji garden? Sabji garden. You go and give water there. Huh? I come here to do Harinam to you. I give you order, go, go and give water to Sabji Garden. They all disciples then going to complain to Bhakti Thakur. We come to Babaji Maharaj to do Harinam, this, that. He is going to give inside job, give water to a you know, brinjal tree and this, that. This is our bhajan? Bhakti Thakur is idiot, stupid. What Babaji Maharaj is speaking, that is your bhajan. What bhajan you can do? If Babaji Maharaj is speaking, give water to brinjal tree, it is your bhajan. But Bhavajima, no, in the name of Hari Bhajan, you can go to, uh, you know, here and there, your mind. And no, Bhavajima, no. So to engage you, you can say, go, give water. Go, give water to flower tree, banana tree, uh, you know. But Bhavajima is knowing, they are knowing, uh, their mind going here. Wicked mind. <laughs> so, say, Bhakti Mahatma Bhavajima is speaking, what Bhavajima is speaking, that is your duty. Go, do, give water. Yep, yeah. So this is the case. So many things I like to speak, but time cannot permit. So Param Bujiva Bhakti Vidya Madhukushi Maharaj ki Jai Ho. Jai Sila Rasina Rusigananda Prabhuji ki Jai Ho. Jai Sila Jagannatas Babaji Maharaj ki Jai Ho. Sabati Ruhab Titi Titi Param Mahamasa ki Jai Ho. And the sloka I started with, and the sloka I started with from Bhagavatam. Someday I can speak all in details where I no time actually. Time main main shortage is time. Main shortage. But to do. I can explain next day, Harikatha. That sloka I started with, I can explain. Today no time. It's over time.